what is up everybody and welcome back this is part two of lake hampton if you missed part one go back and check it out it posted right at the same time as this video because i wanted both i wanted y'all to get both parts at the same time so that way you could check it out back to back and everything and see how awesome it was if you didn't see part one spoiler alert we caught a lot of fish and in part two which is this video of lake hampton pre-spawn fishing in the winter the, like the coldest day of the year so if you missed it check out part one or if you've seen part one check out part two i appreciate y'all <laughs> let's go catch these fish Let's try it. See if we can get them fired up. If this gets them fired up, that means whatever fish that you catch after that, it's automatically mine. Yeah, of course. You're on bottom right. Yeah. I like I like it being windier on days when you can actually set up and you just make the same line. You can see your bait more often. Oh, you got one coming up. He's right. He's right on it. Oh, coming up, coming up. Uh, they're following you in. Come off the bottom, bro. Come on, now, come on, get it. He's got four of them right behind you. Yeah, they're, they're following it. Oh, one went up and come back. Dang. Yeah, I think they're super subtle right now. It's a reaction bite is what it is. Yeah. For right now. I'm just trying to get them, get them going, get their gears going, you know. I think maybe seeing something like that might, might get them to, want, you know, hopefully want to start feeding. I don't know. We'll see. So I've thrown my hover rig, the drop shot on this. I haven't been bit yet. I'm going to try to drag and the Mickey instead of swimming on Where they can slurp it up. I almost could drop straight down to them and hold it over the head, couldn't I? Mm hmm. All right. Oh man, I had one slap it. Damn. Drop it. Nope, this was an A rig. Oh, really? Man, I thought I was going to get him. I'm to the left, so it was some different fish. But yeah, I felt the hit. Damn it, man. Because I don't know where I'm at, so I'm pretty much just letting it be on the bottom, I guess. Yeah. I'm just dragging it. <laughs> I'm 
trying to pretty much just run run it right into them. <laughs> One of them slapped it though. What is going on? Why does that keep doing that? I don't understand that. I'm trying to put it where I can see it this time. We'll see if I get one to. Yeah. check it out but then my bait disappeared on me good decent oh, yeah Put it in the box. Ooh, <laughs> that was fun <sighs> maybe it'll get them going a little you know at least that's my thoughts behind it see me now oh it's gonna happen it's gonna happen there's too many there's too many no bueno they're coming at you now I just knew that I mean, they did that to me a minute ago, so it don't, don't mean much. I'll try again. Like I said, I'm trying to just get them, get them going. Get them fired up. Okay, there I go, dropping down to some. Kind of fits this similar to how you're doing yours, you see. Yeah. Maybe get that reaction. Right, yep. Learning something. Ain't you? Yeah, we'll come. Yeah. Fishing is not like a traditional angle. Uh uh. Wait now, what are you doing? Smoking right now. Pass me up. Now. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, why well, I gotta be all that? Bleep face? <laughs> bleep face is bleepity bloppity face. There we go. Okay. Throw this one in the box too, or what? Ah, oh, man, he's so. Yeah. Get in there with your buddies. <laughs> uh, Frozen hands. It's going to be a continuation of the past day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they haven't even started yet. No. <laughs> they're, just, they're just waiting on us to catch up to them. Right? So the bite's kind of changed a little bit and slowed down some. It's freezing out here. So all y'all people is staying home in the cold and don't want to fish, don't worry, we'll catch the bass for you. But that fish right there, I was just sitting there kind of yo-yoing the, the A-rig, you know, instead of just bringing it over. It's 
top of them I drop it down over the top of them and then kind of give it a jerk to try to create that reaction strike and seemed to work that time i'm going to try doing that a little bit more and see if i can still produce something i know the cowboy boots are helping me a lot oh yeah yeah my feet are fine my feet are the warmest part of my body up my sack i got a pretty good system myself with yeah triple layers looks like they're starting to come up off that bottom a little bit more are, you know oh you I got them oh yeah i seen them come up yeah, yeah. awesome uh, it looked different he raced up they're starting to get turned back on again this is not a good one the bike kind of switched up on us and you know we adapted and overcame it overcame it them <laughs> he's kind of warm i might put him in my pants because <laughs> <laughs> it is 32 degrees out here right now C -c cold look he's beat up too i think i'm gonna say something real, real quick what we've been catching these bucks all are beat up on the sides. I don't know what's doing that. I'm, I'm assuming maybe they had a pre-spawn situation. It was a warming trend a few weeks ago. Maybe these guys are back out in the lake feeding back up because the cold weather, the temps are like down in the 50s right now for the water temp. But we're, we're catching a lot of beat up fish and that's not, not a normal thing. Show you something. Oh, that was a drip drop, huh? Yeah, old drip drop. Nice. Oh, red bug. They're plumbed. Uh, what do I use? I use uh. You use zoom. Zoom? No, I use uh. Oh, you don't. Yum. Yum. Oh, yum. That, yum that's plum. it. They got like a blue flake in there, and they're a little bit brighter than the uh, red bug. They seem to work. look at them clouds looks like some big girl panties <laughs> right in front of you there from the, the airplanes right up there looks like some big girl panties <laughs> <Right up there. laughs> you're like what the hell are you talking about you crazy some <laughs> But like cold ass winter. <laughs> Catch it. I wish I had a good mount for my phone. I'd do a live stream, but I don't. You know, and whatever. I got these. It'll kill my battery quick. Little rail things for mounts. I got. Oh, nice. I, I, I was gonna do a tablet. I used to have a cup holder mount. Jim had a cup holder mount. Um, that worked pretty decent. Uh, I mean, whatever, you know. Well, I'll put it like this. If we were in the tournament right now, we'd already have a five. Yeah, we'd have a limit, yeah. And and then now what you do is you leave, you go hit grass and cliff and try to get a kicker kind of thing. But I'd rather catch them out here. Same here. I'd rather find them we're gonna figure out how to how to find them big girls out here eventually. I think we're gonna get a big girl bite. It's just a matter of the moment. Yeah. I've seen that one grab me. Woo! Woo! Oh. Damn, that's a decent one, yeah. Oh yeah. There we go. Oh, oh no! Oh that, that counts. That was a fun. <laughs> Damn, that sucks. I should have netted. You should have netted that guy. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> right. Dang! I told you. Just a matter of a minute, yeah. we're out here. Um, With a big spoon, too. A hole right there, and I watched it fall down inside that hole, and she grabbed it right there. She swam up real quick, and then and then I knew she had it. I didn't feel her yet, but I saw her the way she reacted, and I just picked up on it and had her. That was a good one. Yeah. That was a fiver. Yeah, yeah, that was a good fish. I saw Ooh. that one happen. Drop right on these guys. Ooh, he's a, he's yeah. A ripper. Need a net? 
That was cool. It's a decent one. You okay. sure you don't want the net? That's the fish I lost earlier. <laughs> Yeah. Straight under the trolling motor. <laughs> Straight down. There we go. Yes, sir. Destroyed that little guy. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah. That was cool, man. Oh, so this is a, this is a net. I think it's a net. Oh, it's definitely. I don't want to lose this guy. He's good. He's, he's just going in his own direction. He's gonna come up and shake one time, so that he'll throw that spoon quick. Got smaller. Yeah, he's wrong. Dang, man, what happened to you? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's why I hooked him on the outside. Oh, yeah. Probably swiped at it and I, and I was doing my jerky work. <laughs> Get the be on, son. It could be spectacular. Too easy. Too easy to get a bass breezy. or a speck. Speck. Mm hmm. I noted. it. Too easy to be breezy. We got a bait ball situated over here. This is a boat and there's, there's a big bass right there. These are all specks right here and look at these bass hanging out. What they do, they don't live in that brush pile. They move in and feed and then they come back out. These are all bass out here, all specks. A couple kind of chewing probably in, in between them. There's two boats right there in the brush pile. And you got a bait ball right here. There's a gar right there, see him? Yeah, two gar. <laughs> That's a gar with his gar frame. in a row. Dang. We, we can be spectacular all we want to. It's kind of fun. But I want to catch one of them bass, so we're going to throw a drop shot in there in a second. Tore his mouth slap open just for that little bit of hook set I did. Because I'm so badass. <laughs> Powerful. I'm right in the middle of them. There he is again. Oh, it just ripped out of his mouth again. Got another bite in you? Oh. These guys are kind of on fire, ain't they? I'll drop. And start shaking it right about now. I think I just seen you move. Yeah. I got hit again. Got hit again. There he is. We're casting the rep. These are small ones, though. These are small specs. <clears throat> mm hmm. Fun. Got one coming up here already. This is a big. Definitely a 
bayonetter. This is a big. Took his eyeball out. Uh, come on now. Was them pliers are they back here? Yep. Dang, he was so good. He wasn't coming off easy. That's for sure. <laughs> On that hover rig, man. Damn. Look at, what it, look at what it did to my hover rig. <laughs> you see that? Oh, wow. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> all right. A little tiny dude. Nothing huge. Ain't all beat up. Yeah, they're moving to the right. Yeah. Mm hmm. He's casting at him, too. <laughs> you see him, too? <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of fish right here, ain't it? Yeah. No, we're good. We're good. Yeah, you're good. Hey, we catch them underneath the trolling motor all the time. Boats don't scare fish at all. That's crazy. Right? Yeah. What y'all throwing? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we caught them on a bunch of different things. A rig, you know, Demiki rig, a hover, uh, hover rig, drop shot. Oh, and a spoon. that five pounder you lost <laughs> <Come on. laughs> yeah. hell yeah yeah tan that one looks like a zombie man i didn't see him come up yeah i just made a random cast out there i didn't get nothing Nah. -uh. Dang. A rig. <laughs> A rig again. Need a net. 
I ain't as big. It's still a fish. He come off of this structure right here. Yep. <laughs> God, they're so jealous. Be jealous. <laughs> uh, settle down, bud. I'm gonna let you go. <laughs> Look, he tried to eat two of them. <laughs> Yeah, he's got two of my baits in his mouth. I was wondering why I got hit again. Boy. That's what happens when you're greedy. You're trying to eat two of them. A different one? Oh, he did? <laughs> oh, shit. Damn. <laughs> Put on a clinic, bud. I'm so jealous right now. Oh, you got him? Nice. Uh, five and some uh, four fours. And a bunch of numbers beyond that. <clears throat> there we go. Damn. The five was on a rig. Uh, the fours were off of a spoon. Got one. Mm -hmm. Avery! <laughs> Come here, fool! Get over here! <laughs> Devin gave me some good luck! <laughs> Settle down, dude. Let me get it out for you. Man, he was skin hooked, too. Yeah. <laughs> Got another one. Whoop. Oh, well. I ain't gonna save. What's that? Oh, bam. Got him. There might be a school of spec. I know there's a school of spec right over here too. Yeah, right over here is a big brush pile, a sunken boat. There's about four or five in this hole. Throw out like a little paddle tail on a swim jig. I mean, on a on a uh, jig head. That one come up off the bottom. Couldn't even see him, but it, he come up. Oh, it's a good one, dude. This is a, this is a tank. Unless I got him put sideways. Yeah, I got him. I got him fouled over. <laughs> what are you doing, Gilly? What the gill? <laughs> <laughs> you just been fart paced. Yeah, he come up off the bottom. I didn't even see him. 
they're down there. Yeah, I can see them snaking on the bottom right there. Okay, you see all that bait? Yeah, huge bait ball right there. Dude, this is the coolest thing ever. This is my first year doing it. I started in summer. Um, caught nine trophy catches. I caught three that I didn't turn in. So 12 total. Just playing around with this, this uh, Ford facing stuff. And then making cast. What's that? Oh, yeah. Dude, it, well, you learn. You learn more than anything. It's, you, they don't jump in the boat, but you learn what not to do and how they act. And that I, I've caught them underneath the trolling motor head in three foot of water. Literally, I don't even I don't even know how to cut them up. With the trolling motor, they're right there. Like I said, boats don't scare them. I think it's a bunch of crap with all the people that think that Ford Basin is ruined. You know, makes them smarter. It doesn't make them smarter. I mean, if you can catch them from the trolling motor in three foot of water. They don't That was just a random cast. You just bit fart face, bull. It farted up. Nice one. Ooh, that's a choker. <laughs> Settle down, dude. That's where a guy to get me hooked. We're going to fight. Easy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're on bottom right there. You have any A-Rigs? Yeah, I got some. This morning it was the Nike rig and, and more than finesse stuff, but uh, they come up in the A-Rigs. Whew. Right? Oh, you got another one? No, I don't see your bent rod. Oh, okay. Everyone's slowly getting closer and closer. <laughs> closer. Closer. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like and subscribe. I think that's a brush pile and some specs, but I know. really don't want to get stuck in that. Yeah, I'm gonna try them though. Let me get in them. There's some specs out there that way. If I get in this guy. <coughs> There's my drop. Yeah, I'm pretty pretty sure those are spec right under us. This dude next to us needs to be right here where we're at. Ooh, look at that big girl down there. Mm -hmm. You're over there. So yeah, I'm gonna cast to your right a little bit, try to try to whack one. Right there maybe. Gotta go dropping by something that looks like speck or bait. What do you reckon it is? I don't know. That's speck right there. They're not moving. It'd be They're cool just... to catch a big speck in front of this dude over here. Bit, yeah. Well I stopped it and started jiggling it a little. Open up. There's that bait. Each other. <laughs> God, this is hilarious, dude. <laughs> oh, because they see us whacking them. <clears throat> Bring my bait up so I don't get stuck in a brush pile. There we go, drop them back down. I'm getting close to that brush pile. Look at those past it, you see that? Mm -hmm. I think we might need to oh, whack them. Yeah, straight out? Yeah. Get away from these speck right here and go hit them. Yes, sir. 
Man, I like this over rig. Right Where? Uh, 40 feet right there. We've been putting in some work out here. <laughs> We're catching a lot of fish. I'm wearing the full the full finger gloves and everything. It's it's pretty cold today. Pretty windy. Um, but the amount of fish that are in this little area on the lake is crazy. It's been it's hundreds of you know speck bass everything thousands of bait fish around here and a lot of these bass today are hugging the bottom you know like you think you see a mega school of bass but it's not a mega school of bass it's actually speck and the bass are actually down there on the bottom cruising along but there's so many of them that they drop down and blend in with that bottom and then you throw the right bait over them and then they just come firing up from the bottom and then all of a sudden it's game on so it's been pretty nuts but uh <laughs> Yeah, we've been putting in some work and um it's funny you know <laughs> we got uh, all these boats and this little tiny area fishing and it, it's been pretty fun but we've been here all day <laughs> we were the first ones here yeah <laughs> i'm surprised to see more boats today yesterday we only seen one boat show up so that's pretty crazy today we've seen a decent amount lake hampton putting in work so uh gonna try to bring some more in might switch up too you know like we were catching them on drop shot we were catching them on uh what Demiki rig hover rig a rig um a, a big spoon a shiny silver spoon a big one uh and a bunch of different baits it's been crazy but the bike keeps switching between baits so you gotta keep throwing out there experimenting seeing what happens with you know what how the fish act and yeah. I don't, just, I don't know what to do with my hands, you know. <laughs> but yeah, we're switching it up. It, you know, yeah, we got fart facing sonar, but a lot of these fish we're just thrown out into the open just because we know they're in the area, and um, we're pulling them in. So really, yeah, we're using fart facing, but you don't necessarily need it. You know, you know that the fish are here. You know, the bait's here. And they're all congregated right here. And like I said, you got to follow the birds. You, this time of year in the winter. You see the birds on a clear lake especially go key in on them birds and check it out scan around hit them with side scan down imaging all that stuff that you can and try to figure them out because they're gonna be close <clears throat> time to catch a fish Whew. oh yeah See if I can't get them fired back up with this A rig. This A rig kind of seems to do that, don't it? Yeah. Kind of gets them going. All right. Oh wait, the bait's on bottom. Ha! Tricked you. It ain't the bait. It's me with an A rig. Right there. You're on them. Oh, they're coming. You got slammed right now. Nope. They're on it though. Oh, they came up and checked it out. Maybe if I would have ripped it. I'll just slow retrieve at that point. Oh, that's what I was doing. Oh, they're on it. They're on it. They're on it. Damn it. You feel them? Uh, on it. Ah. Uh. Damn. I just feel like I, I didn't work it right, I guess. I'm going to let it hit bottom. You guys are aggressive. Yeah. Let's see if I can find it. Yeah. Hey rig dog. I think I might have him foul hooked. No, he ain't big, he's just foul hooked. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> That was yo-yo and now it's actually Just let it drop to the bottom and rip it up yeah, like you said it's a learning deal man it's crazy because this ain't how we fish a rigs i'm, pre I'm pretending i'm <laughs> right well this will be that video I 
Yo yo on an A rig. Yes, yeah, I did open it a little more, which I never do. I mean, it's no giant, but for a little dinky guy, he's got him a decent little belly. I appreciate you, dude. Give me some dap. Uh, mm, appreciate you. Uh. Wonder how far we are away from the sunshine spot. No way. Yeah. Already. All you do is fart face a little bit. Oh, one letter up. I have two. Dude. Oh my god. Two, dude. Should we tell them guys? Look at that. That's it. That's it. <laughs> Big ball right here. Dude, that's a healthy schooler, man. There's tons of bass and bait right here. See them on bottom right there? And the bait's on the boat. Mm -hmm. them all over here. So we'll see. In the juice. We'll do pan around. Look at that. That's fresh pile. Oh yeah. Right, right here, over right here. Right here, right here, right here. Oh my god. There's hundreds of bass right in between us. <laughs> yeah, we saw the birds, but it's crazy. Yeah. The birds never lie, do they? We did that earlier today, and yeah, they were, uh, I think they were joshing us. <laughs> 20 feet under the boat right here. Well, over there, the, we, we were fishing the bait ball the whole time. Oh, yes, sir. Yeah. What was that with? Nice. But the bait, the bait balls disappeared, and apparently they're right here. <laughs> I'm gonna steal your fish real quick. <laughs> you probably have them under the boat right now, don't you? That's what happens. You catch one, the rest come under the boat, and you can drop straight down like a Nikki lid or just like what he's fishing. Yeah, I don't. I got this cover on my ears. It's hard to hear. So much bait. <laughs> yeah. That's so pretty, isn't it? Yeah. I'm gonna do a pan. Look at that one fish under that that ball. Yeah. Oh, look at him dive. Oh yeah, he went and hit him. Oh, that's so cool. Don't you ever get tired of like catching all these fish offshore? I, I used to. And then I take uh I call it Hershey squirt juice, but I put it on my face a little bit in the morning. I'm kidding. Delete that. <laughs> no, I, I love catching fish, man. And figuring them out offshore, come on. Nothing better than that. Oh wait a minute. Oh, you see that on his belly? Yeah. Ford facing is starting to give him cancer. We probably should stop sometime soon. But not today. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> He's suffering from some fallout. <laughs> <laughs> Quick rundown on what we threw. Hover rig, A rig, drop shot, Demiki rig. What else was it? Uh the big spoon. A big silver spoon and uh lake fork um five inch spoon and what we noticed today was that the bigger bite started with the spoon but then it it turned in they wouldn't even hit a spoon after that 
they wouldn't yeah, hit a drop yeah. shot anymore. They, it was just it all changed, and then it was nothing but a power A rig, and yeah. and it wasn't a normal A rig. It wasn't one that you throw out. You you, you throw over the suspenders and stuff. Um, you had to literally yo-yo the A rig like you would a spoon, and that's a technique I. I mean, Steve-O figured it out. He, did, he didn't YouTube it or anything like that, but he figured it out. He got bit, and then he got bit more, and then he got bit yeah, some more. So. Yeah, it was crazy. I was just dropping it. I'd throw it out there. We'd see fish on bottom, you know, like I was saying earlier. A lot of these, uh, the bass, like we've seen specs suspended. They're in what we thought at first was mega schools of bass. Actually, it was spec. I'd throw out there, you know, to the bass that we've seen on bottom, hugging the bottom, because uh, with this these colder temps and everything they were down low they were hugging the bottom and then sometimes a lot of times you wouldn't even see them down there then we'd bring that bait over them i'd throw it out there and then i'd just i'd let it drop all the way to the bottom and hit the bottom where normally like i was saying earlier we just slow roll it over the top of them because the bass are looking up they like to feed up and uh ambush stuff and uh i was letting it drop down to the bottom with them where they were hanging out and then i'd just give it a quick rip let it drop back down rip it again and repeat that and for whatever reason it the bite changed so many times and it was kind of ridiculous you know it turned into a whole reaction deal and um that's what it was yeah this is been a pretty cold day for florida 32 degrees and it was 28 starting out this morning yep, wasn't it yep, or something like that yep and and water temps are 52 and 52 degree water temps in florida those bass they you know all the every video you watch or whatever they get locked jaw you know oh you can't you can't hardly catch them yeah. in florida they well, just shut up and i guess they, they're they lethargic biting. they don't want a bat to do but there's i'm telling you there's a bite offshore and uh go find them and and all you got to do is look for birds you'll find the bait the birds are only feeding on bait and you're in the general zone and what we noticed is this lake i don't know how many acres this lake is it's pretty you know standard size florida pond slash lake or whatever it's public lake uh lake hampton literally one mega bait ball there was no little groups of bait anywhere there was no nothing here lately all them bait balls seem to have grouped together i don't know if what it is i don't know if the bass just beat them up enough to where all these fish you know all the bait just decided to group up for whatever reason that's what they did and they're in one spot of the lake so you can go out there and scan around and do all this and that and you might be like man i don't know where these fish are i don't know what they're doing but you just got to look a little bit harder spend a little bit more time be more patient and i'm sure that you'll come across them and whenever you do it's going to be epic there's a lot of fish that's going to be in that spot and it's crazy you find the the birds are going to be the telltale sign you find the birds see what they're bombing see what they're checking out especially in clear lakes and then you go over there, start scanning around, checking it out. You're gonna find a, a lot of bait fish probably. Yep, and the bass would move in and they'd move out. They'd move in, move out. So we just we just stuck it around. We just we just hung out and um, we would leave the spot and we, we wouldn't get bit anymore. We'd go right yeah, back yeah. to that spot. And, and normally, you, you know, you're looking for points. They say you gotta find brush, you gotta find yeah. hard bottom. Boom. You gotta find hard bottom um in florida you just have to find the bait the birds and the fish because what we were catching today was on mud they they were they were yeah. they were not in grass they were not on anything but mud they were yep. there was nothing there was no hard bottom uh my 2d uh down scan normally shows really bright yellow on hard bottom it was it was red it was it was just mud and they were they were so sucked down on the bottom that their bellies were sore and yeah. I, like they've just been laying there and, and cruising but when you're looking at forward facing any fish that's moving is a bass anything that's stationary is going to be a speck and uh lord help you if you catch a gar because <laughs> you're going to destroy everything <laughs> you got so we, yeah. we learned not to cast a gar but um it's it's a fun bite man you guys you guys are missing out uh put you put your head down spend the time you're gonna waste a bunch of time but you're gonna eventually figure out what you're supposed to look at and then it becomes easy it becomes second nature florida offshore is dope and then even if you don't have forward facing or you don't want to get into it or whatever you can't afford it whatever whatever you don't, the you deal don't need may all that be, stuff you do don't you? need it no no 
it's it's a it's another tool no matter what the hell randy blockhead says or whatever i don't care it's another tool it just helps you learn what fish are doing how to how they react to stuff what your bait's doing how deep it dives what your fall rate is this and that and uh but you can use side scan down imaging and this and that to look around because that's really how we ended up stumbling across these fish yeah we, we found the location not by forward facing not by side scan not by down scan nothing no electronics found our location to where we found the fish yeah it, the birds we told watched us. the birds yep birds <laughs> were dive bombing bait balls out there and steve-o's like hey maybe we should go over there and fish and yeah. when we pulled up I hit spot lock. I didn't. I didn't hit spot lock because I found a spot. I hit spot lock because we're kind of in that area, and we started catching. And you can literally find the birds and fan cast and have a great day, without forward facing, without side scan, without you're in your canoe. It doesn't matter. You can do it. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what else to say. I don't. I, I don't know what to do with my hands. You know, the bait cast real good. Boat fish yeah. real good. Yeah. It just. <laughs> you know, that being said. We're, uh, we had a fun day, epic day. We're gonna load up, so. I appreciate all y'all checking out the videos and everything. And if any of y'all wanna fish with me, whatever, you know, I ain't some mega pro or some super famous YouTuber that's gonna act like I don't give a crap about y'all or whatever. I appreciate every one of y'all that check out my videos, especially out here with old Offshore Lou and everything. You know, I've had a lot of fun since meeting this guy and everything. and. I just met him through YouTube and making videos and everything, and I can meet you that way too. And we could all hang out and have a good time, go catch some damn fish, rip some lips, you if, know. So if you want to learn a little bit about, about forward facing, I'm I'm down. I'll get on your boat and hang out, and it might yeah. cost you ten thousand dollars, but not, <laughs> not really. I, but, I love doing this. So <laughs> anybody that's uh, new new to forward facing just wants to get a, a upper level step, a quick step, and a, a quick. Uh, here you go kind of thing hit me up and hit Steve-O up because I don't I don't have a, a YouTube channel, but um, Just hit us up